like that! Stop, 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 stop! Dude, we're people, not cars. Good observation, you little shit. Are you Sheridan, Lauren, and some unidentified parent? Yes. Did you apply to make your dream prank come true? That's none of your business, old lady. Well, it is because. I'm Scotty from Prank Patrol. Congratulations, you two, because you are the newest members. Good stuff. Now, the two of you will need this. That is your pass to prank. You'll also be needing this one. One for you and one for you. Pop them on. They're your prank jackets. Now, Mum, we want to go pranking for a while. We need your permission. Is that cool? Absolutely. Well, guess what? You're the newest lollipop lady of this street. Congratulations. Oh, now, the two of you, you ready to go? Yes. Say goodbye to Mum. See you, Mum. See you, Mum. Bye. Girls, welcome to the Bank Patrol Spy Van. Great to have you on board. Now, sisters? Yeah. Twins? No. Who's older? Me. Who's taller? Me. Oh, that's good, that's good. I'll just put that away in the facts file. Okay, so we're pranking someone. Who is this someone? Our good friend Taylor. Ninjas, take us to Prank Patrol HQ because we've got a TV set to make. Drive. At times like these, we turn to one man. I wish I didn't have to, but I do. Recipe for a prank. Cold hands. Beware of monsters that lurk under the bed. Then, go hide yourself and your deathly cold hands under your target's bed. When they get up, bam! They'll practically jump out of their skin. Okay guys, so I want this dude black and white and... Super Kind of like the movie, widescreen. Now, have we got the aliens? And we've got the submarine, the fireworks, special effects, standing Scotty. back up there. Scotty! Right. Can we go already? Yeah. <laughs> oh my god! Oh, ninjas! Oh, what? Oh, oh. <laughs> Sheridan, welcome to your prank location. Now, this is the TV studio where your prank is going to go down. Doesn't it look fantastic? Isn't it brilliant? What do you think? It's shit, Scotty. Your show is shit, and so are you. Go to Channel 11, you lob. Looks like Scotty needs to get the shoddy. Fuck off, kid. We'll never work in this town again. And right on cue, we've got our prank patrol actors. Now we've got Richard Prank, the producer, Shaw, Shissy, Sheridan, and Lauren. Hey guys. And we've got TV presenter, Shura Taft, playing TV presenter, Shura Taft. Give it up. Explode it. Bang. <laughs> <laughs> Look at that now, girls. You need to tell these guys how do you want them to play their characters, starting with Shaw, Sh Um, I think that you should really stressed out about everything. Yeah, do that. Yeah, I, I can. It'll be fine. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> and for sure? Uh, I think you should be really full of yourself. Ooh, OK. It's going to be a stretch, but if one person can do it, Shura Taft can. Fantastic. You know what that is? That can only be one person. Where is he? Where is he? Ball! 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 <laughs> oh, ball! I knew you wouldn't quit on me. I'm not quitting, Scotty. I'm going on holiday. I told you that. Oh, you, you did tell me that. Oh, I'm so happy you're here, Bob. All right, well, these are our newest pranks as we've got Shish and Laurel. Girls, this is Bob. Hey, Sheridan. Hey, Lauren. Bob, they're our guy. And now, uh, what's going to happen with this thing? Well, we're going to fill this up with special fire extinguishing foam. And at the right time, pull a string, throw a pulley in the ceiling, and dumps a whole lot of foam on Taylor. Awesome. You can have the honours. Tell the girls, what time is it? Nine. 
Paradise. The blueprint for Lauren and Sheridan's prank is an interview that will veer right off the rails, a dodgy collapsing coffee table, an overactive smoke machine and a TV set rigged to shower them in foam. Oh girls, Taylor, you are the man, you are going. Sheridan and Lauren eagerly await the arrival of their target, Taylor, who's been invited to appear on a new TV show. Little does he know what's really in store. Oh, yeah. yeah good. That's good. And this is, this is Eric, Tyler. Hello. How you going, man? Hey, I'm Eric. Okay. Eric is a prank patrol actor playing a klutzy magician. Right now on Gen Y Not, Taylor Henderson, can you hear us from the green room, friend? No. <laughs> how, how you doing, buddy? I'm good, thanks. How are you? Now, Taylor, I've got two girls on the show here, Lauren and Sheridan, who claim that they know you. Is this true? Yes. No, I'm yes. just kidding. Yeah, oh, no, okay. I know them. I'm Cheeky. Just, I'm just you guys know each other. Let's get Taylor out on the show at the same time as you guys and we can do a bit of a talk. Taylor, Taylor Henderson, come out here on Gen Y Not. No. Taylor Henderson, welcome to Gen Y Not. Let the real fun and games begin. The show. Thank you very much. Take a seat, please, on our Gen Y Not couch. In between them. A thorn between two roses. Smoking. Did I say smoking? Okay, that's <laughs> Take it away, girls. Cut, cut, it's too much smoke. What's going on with this? Shosh. If there was any more, if there's Sorry, any more smoke, it's just going to set off the foam extinguisher. If there's any more smoke. Did she say foam extinguisher? Uh oh. No. What the hell? It's the stupidest thing I've ever done. In the year 19 fuck off Scottish Weedy assassinated Stalin's ghost. In the year 2,132,485 BC he defeated Robo Hitler and the 5th Sibyl Panzer Division. At age 98 he served in the Vietcar and was injured by landmine. When he was revived the ninjas radicalized him and after pulling his final prank he was convinced to skydive strapped with explosives and blow up the world.